Hey guys, it's Ed again. Well, we're up here looking at the uh, new acquisition. We've got it out of the woods. Uh, it came from out there. We We threw those trees and uh, the guy I bought it off from, he dragged it out here for us so we can get a hold of it. But he said there was a hole in the block and I'm not sure you guys can see, but I would say that that's a connecting rod right there hanging out of the side of the motor. So um, definitely looks like a connecting rod to me. So I'm uh, pretty sure this motor isn't going to fire up and drive on the trailer. So um, other than that, it's got a radiator in it. Cab, this is a really the first time I've actually looked inside of it to see what's going on. And it's really not too bad in there, cab mounts and stuff. Um, of course this fender here, but that's kind of an easy fix. We can metal that up, have welder, make it fit, and um, so you see she's still got the bulldog on her. Side bulldog is on it, on the hood here, missing a cab light. Three of them are in pretty good shape, one of them is rusted bad. Um, so that's what that is. Let's see if I can get on the ground without breaking my neck. Might be able to. Hood proppy dude works good. Fuel tank. Let's see if it's got any gas in it. We may have to start her up here. Huh, looks bone dry. She probably got a probably got a rust hole on the bottom of it. Yeah, it does have air tank on it. You can see that, so those are air brakes. We were discussing that earlier. So ow, crickers. So there's that air can that we were talking about. Um, I'd say those duels are holding air on this side. We uh, dug the box out, took out, hey Ethan, climb up there and grab them shovels. You didn't throw them down. Yeah. Let's see what this one, Kirker bushes are a lot of fun. These ones are soft, but the inner, I think, is holding more air than the outer. But I think that'll fit in my garage. Pretty sure. It's not that high. Exhaust is uh, ground-based here. Horizontal vertical exhaust. It's kind of interesting. It's got this thing in the back here. What the hell is this? Is this a light? I don't know. Floors are a little rough. Got a grabber chain in there. Good to have. Oh, it's got a mirror. I didn't even notice that. Got the mirror hanging here for it. That's cool beans. Oh, how many critters are going to jump out ass here. I would assume a few. Do a little welding on that dash. Too bad he didn't have the other mirror laying in here somewhere. Maybe he does. No, what the hell is that? No jumper cable. This was, oh, that's liquid. So it's not oil. Running board will hold me. Oh yeah, there's two mirrors in here. I don't believe they are the correct mirrors. That 
mirrors correct, but not sure about that one. Got a mud flap. Truck tractor protection, normal emergency. I would say that must be a trundle valve, oil pressure. I bet she ain't got a lot of oil pressure. Dry road or slippery road. Got the keys in it. That's cool. She's got 169,000 miles on it. <laughs> That's correct. You guys see that? So. Gonna need a win window here. Got a little crackage. A little crackage. But. That's the way I like them. You know me, I like them rough. So, I like them rough. The seat, seat's perfect. The new, child the new poster child of my channel? Yeah, maybe. We'll put her right up on there. There's the fuse block. It's actually not that bad. I have to fit my fat, fat butt in behind that steering wheel. That'll be fun. So. So, yeah, pretty cool. Got a little, little love here in the cab. Might put a strap through them doors. That'll be fun going down the road, opening up, waving at everybody, telling them hi. Yeah, that tire looks, that tire looks pretty good. little body work out here on the grill. I think we can smack that out a little bit. Bring that back. That fender's not as bad. Knock off some of that crap. Yeah. Say hi, Bulldoggy. Don't bite. Yeah, this tire, if we air this one up a little bit, kind of valve stem. It's got a tube tire in it. Yeah, and the valve stem's right there. Go in the back of the car and grab that little air compressor for poops and giggles. <laughs> It'd be funny. That thing takes two months to blow up a car tire. Can you imagine it, putting it on here to try to blow it up? Probably be better off leaving it alone, because it does have some air in it but it would pull a lot easier. So. Oh, I was gonna look to see what size these were too. I assume they're 10 120s. Let's see. Okay, that didn't work. Um, this does not wanna fit in here very well and I can't get it on it and it doesn't wanna move, so we're gonna leave it alone. I did drop the cap here. Can't find it. No idea. But I'm not overly concerned because just a cap. So, anyway. Oh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. See, just make sure these are 10 120s. Ethan, can you look around on these? See if you can see on the sidewall written if they're 10 120s. Should be somewhere. I see something BF Goodrich. And then right there. What's that say? Goodrich. How about right here? What's that say? Groovable. It's usually. Right up in here somewhere. There's some more. I see a B on H. Silver, silver something. Silvo. I don't know. Can't read it. I feel like this is National Treasure. Something silver. I don't know. But I can't find a size on them. 
but I would assume they're 10 under 20s. So, bias ply. Um, yeah, they're split rims. So, uh, what else do we want to look at? Yeah, measure it. Oh, we got to measure it. That's right. Let's do that. Let's get some measurements on this thing. Hey guys, I uh, got an update on the Mac Midliner, uh, the 1998. Uh, things didn't go so well. Um, we got the box off, which was challenging, um, but we ran into a problem with um, my new neighbor. And my new neighbor um, did not care for my uh, stuff on my small little storage lot. So he decided that it needed to be moved. And I, um, you know, there's not much I can do. It's, it's basically a quarter of an acre. So I, um, you know, the codes guy sent me a nice little letter, um, you know, and basically said that I had a week to move everything off the, my property, which is kind of crappy. Um, except for one unregistered vehicle, which happens to be a camper. So, um, and that's the way it is. So I was at least lucky enough that I didn't have the box on the ground. It was still uh, on the trailer. So um, I was able to uh, sell it to the guy that helped drive it up for me. And he, uh, he picked it up and I sold it back to him and um, got my money out from under it and you know, it's. I think it would have been a good drivetrain for this truck, but, um, you know, we'll come up with something different, and uh, we'll put that in it. So, uh, But I am going to attach the video of me taking off the box, because it was pretty, pretty wild. And um, so, hope you enjoy it.
up.
the roof. We have to move the snowmobile. We might have to move this. Just looking up straight up and down. Not doing it wrong. This? You need to keep that back down. I'm going to push it in. Oh, yeah. How's that? Much better? You can even go in a bit more. Go to the other side and do a couple?
use these blocks. Anything we got. Chalk the trailer tires are easier. They won't roll as much as this thing will. All of them or just? Yeah, do both of them on this side. I'm on this trying side? to roll. Yeah. See it rolling? I got the brakes on, but they don't hold by much. Okay. I was close. So, go on the deck, hang it over farther than I want. Go a little farther. It's tough though, because that's not straight. straight. So, a little farther ahead than I want to be, but hopefully. How much room do I have to move my tractor? Before I grind into the. I can. I'm going to throw stuff. I don't know what to do. I don't have to do. It. I ain't moving. So well, now, now what? <laughs> Everything we did, we do in reverse. How? How? Yeah. We jack it up, we take some blocks out, we jack it up, we take some blocks out, we jack it up, we take some blocks out, we just keep. All four corners, so we get her down. So. What do you guys think? Was that scary? It was scary. Hopefully, it recorded. That would have been sad. <laughs> Looks like it did.